Just a quick one tonight, guys. Van internet. And it's something that, again, been looking into, obviously, building a van. And for Wolfie, we wanted something stable and reliable. We didn't want to spend an absolute fortune. So this is a solution for how you can get 4G, uh, 4G LTE with up to 150 meg download and 50 meg upload for less than a hundred pound. So we've got that one, which is the TP link, uh, TL dash MR6400. We've got one of those, which is a DC to DC voltage dropper. And we've got one of those, which is a 4G uh, MIMO aerial, and that's uh, an in-out aerial because <clears throat> this has the two antenna slots on. So let's just open this up quick and have a quick look. So uh, there's the box, and this particular one is the 4G LTE with the Qualcomm chipset. And you can see the two aerial ports there and the nano SIM card holder there. Now this works on a nine volt supply and that's where this comes in. That is a DC to DC voltage dropper. So this one's a solder one. I can quite happily solder and um, if you're a bit worried about soldering, you can pick one of these up with screw in, screw out, and a very small digital uh, screen on that will show you. In fact, I'll picture that now. It will show you how it, where you've adjusted. So with this particular one, you solder the in, you solder the out, and that will be 12 volt from the uh, battery. That will be 12 volt from the fuse box, and then you adjust this to drop it down to whatever you want. So I'll be dropping it down to nine volt. Uh, this is nine volt 0.85 amp. So this is capable of three amps. So amps is one of those things. It'll only take what it needs. So once wired up to the plug-in like that, it's just a standard, I think it's a 5.5 uh, plug-in that comes with it. Um, I'll just pinch one off an old adapter, but once wired up to that, uh, that will plug straight into the back. That will solder the wire into there, and then a wire will move around to a switch and then to the fuse board. Um, that will give it its nine volt supply. And then this one is a Bing Fu. 4G antenna. Now we've gone for something quite small. Um, you can get bigger ones. We're going to try this one first and see how it works. But there you go. You can see the uh, the Mimo aerial connections there, and that's uh, in and out. And they just screw into the back into those ports on the back of here. So once it's in, they're screwed in, and it's powered up with a SIMIM you can connect to it as you would do any other router. Now, this is just a quick unboxing and putting it together because it's all arrived. Um, what I will do for a video for next Thursday is take all of this and put it together and we'll go out and test it in the van and see how it does. So yeah, just a quick one, a one take wonder showing an alternative to spending three, four, five hundred pounds uh, this box will work with any nano sim so it's not it's not restricted um and as i say it's a qualcomm chipset so it's similar to the uh 4g and 4g lte phones um for between 70 and 90 pounds depending on what it is on amazon i'll put a link to the box in down below uh, i think this aerial was about 16 quid um they do do another one, which is a bigger one. Uh, it's a bigger white one, and it stands about eight or nine inches, that one. So that will be, I think that's about 20 quid. Um, or the 
they do do two individual magnetic antennas as well and I think they're about nine quid and I think these were seven quid for four or five but again I'll link everything in the description down below um, and if you're interested to see how this all works put together and what sort of speed it gets through this little aerial um, tune in next Thursday night for that one and otherwise we'll see you on Sunday thanks for watching guys have a nice evening take care bye bye